It's Cut the Malarkey. Welcome, Welcome back to Cut the Malarkey Radio. Uh, yeah. Got, oh, you uh, got it. Okay, go ahead. I got you. Go ahead. Well, welcome back to Cut the Malaka Radio. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We back, baby. We took we a week off. Get our yeah. mental together. Our mental and, and our hand. chickens. Uh, <laughs> Lil' Hand. He got the, he got the Paul slash Yin Yang going on. Anyway, uh, shout out DJ Paul. Man, why anyway, you do my boy DJ Paul like that, man? That man is a legend with a little hand. He's still a legend. Anyway, man, welcome back to Cut the Malaka Radio, man. We missed y'all just like you missed us. It's your yes, boy, sir. Black Haven Mon. And D-Terrell 217. Shout out to Papa Lokiano Agatha making that money. He should, he should be back next week. You know what I'm saying? We missed y'all, bro. Hey, D-Terrell, bro, what you been up to, bro? Oh, man. It's been uh been quite eventful, man. I've been watching these Grizzlies preseason games and a couple NFL, disappointing NFL games. But, man, the Grizzlies, though. You know what I'm saying? The Grizzlies. The Grizzlies. Bro, it's almost that time. Yeah. Right? And you know what I'm saying? Hey, by the time this come out, it should be almost time for the first game of the season. First game of the season. You know what I'm saying? The first game of the season. And I I anticipate us, you know what I'm saying, the Grizzlies looking good this year because um, I think a lot of us expected Zach Eady to be, you know what I'm saying, to be pretty pretty decent. But I think he better than a lot of us anticipated. You know what I'm I saying? Think, I still feel like your fandom – your fandom takes over, he, but he looked good. I think he's better than a lot of us anticipated it. Like, seriously. Because we we saw him in college at Purdue. And, you know, we, we knew kind of what he could do. We didn't know how that would translate to the NBA level. But watching him, I'm not saying he like where he like he's at his ceiling already. I'm not saying anything yeah. like that. I just think he's better than what we already thought. So you so when you say so when you say that it ain't who we picked is where we picked them and the fit of the team and need that's gonna help him shine, you know what I mean? Because uh, we needed him to come right. in and be a solid rookie and a solid a solid starter. He's like right. a handful of rookies that's coming in starting for the M Town. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm looking forward to this season, bro? The Jersey retirement of the grandfather himself. Oh yeah, that's T.A. Allen, I'm waiting on that. Yeah, that, that's. I'm waiting like. on that. But hey, aside from all that, we could jump back in them Grizzlies in a second. I heard it's an MF and birthday this week. I heard it was a birthday. If it's your birthday, put your hands in the air. If it's your birthday, put your hands up. I, you, I know what you're doing. I understand what you're trying to do. I mean, if it's, if I it's, got one hand. If, it, if it's a birthday, put your little hand in the air. If it's your birthday, if it's your birthday, put nine figures in the Somebody earth. get this man, bro. Somebody get this man, bro. <laughs> Look, yeah, yeah, man. It's my birthday on uh, October 17th, so you know what I'm saying? I, uh, I I think I got a pretty special uh, mix in store for y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's po- I'm supposed to be getting the gifts, but y'all getting, the, y'all getting the gifts. So it's all good. What you doing for your 51st, my boy? 51st? Who 50? What? what? <laughs> I got you some. Bro, I got you some of them sparks like Uncle Shay Shay. You know you need them. You need them roast sparks, my boy? Man, look. Shay Shay need to stay off the sparks. Michelle wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> she famous. Don't nobody know how she look. She calm she's down. famous. <laughs> she famous, calm. my boy. Yeah. Man, they they tried to um they tried to find out how she looked. The internet sleuths, internet sleuths. But you want to know something? There's one thing about Uncle Shay Shay. He ain't gonna let nobody know. He oh, ain't yeah. gonna let it be known. He, he ain't. Gonna he let ain't. Nobody, nobody gonna know. Nobody gonna know Nathan. You. You know we we was talking about the Grizzlies. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and we got a little special little something for my boy later on. But let's head back to the Grizzlies. I just wanted to shout him out on his B day. You know what I'm saying? For sure. We was waiting on this day. They signed Scotty Pippen Jr. to a multi-year deal. And do you feel like that was the right move, D'Terrell? Do you feel like he showed enough this preseason, not last year, to deserve this multi-year deal, bro? Uh, I'm going to say this. Yeah. He's been he's been pretty consistent. Um, but definitely is his his willingness like to work. You know what I'm saying? He willing to 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 put in the work to get better. He one of those players that you could tell, like, you know, if you ask something of him and he ain't quite got it, he gonna get it in the lab and make it happen. Like, 
he he shows that. So I'm I'm glad they gave it to him. Uh, of course, in typical Grizzlies fashion, they didn't they didn't discuss. The, <laughs> they didn't release the details. <laughs> no details. But hey, you know that's typical Memphis Grizzlies fashion. But, 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 but you yeah, know that he I'm is his daddy's boy. boy. He yeah, is his daddy's boy, man. He's a hard worker for sure. He's a hard worker. You already know. Hey, so aside from the Grizzlies, we talked about the home team. Shout out to the Grizzlies. We got to get into this hot news, my boy. Last week, last week, Kayla Nicole, better known as Travis Kelsey's ex, better known as ex-NBA analyst, NFL and NBA, went on Angel Reese's podcast and explained that her and Travis Kelsey got a divorce because he wanted to go 50-50. And, quote, she said, do I look like... I thought they were dating. They were they were married. Well, boyfriend and girlfriend. I thought they was married. They was together for a long time. But yeah. I guess come and law. Let's just say come and law. That depends on the state, too. Uh, I don't care about none of that. They live together. You married. So <laughs> she, okay. she says verbatim, do I look like I go 50-50? And in the words of Killer, and in the word of her line mace, Hairline Mace, what do you, where do you get these names? <laughs> That's what he known for. He got a spoon hairline like Lil Bill. Anyway, so how spoon does uh, how does somebody who doesn't go fifty fifty look? And now That's, look at you. That's facts. That's facts. That's a that's a really good question. How is somebody that refuses to go fifty fifty? How are they supposed to look? Like that's a, that's a really good question. What does it look like? Because I have no idea. To be honest, broke. it has no look. It doesn't. It's all personality. And let's let's be real here. You were you were willing to grind and get it before you got Travis. So what Thanks. happened? What happened? What happened to the and grind? I, the hunger, the thirst. Can I be real? What? Can I be real? When we hear statements like this, they always our our sisters. Always. Always our sisters. And they I mean, be so be, they, they, they be, be strong when they be by themselves. Willing, they willing to find a, a spouse and build wealth together. It'd be some of them out there that say that. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm not saying they all of them. Build with, but yeah, it uh, it'd be a lot of it'd be a lot of what you're saying, man. Uh I don't wanna you, you know. But you but know. it'd be but you wanna know something? But it'd be them same women that be like I need a man on my level. I need a man either on my level or better than me. But they want a man to make more money to take care of. Well, but when it's day term, they don't want to do it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Wouldn't that mean if you want somebody on your level, wouldn't that mean you would want to build with that person and continue what you got so y'all can reach the next level? Like, is, is that, that not good? Is that not common sense? Like, or is it just you want somebody on your level so you can just stop and they continue? Like, because that's what it sounds like you're trying to say. But... Like what? I, what are we doing? <laughs> okay, so so in her defense, I think this is what she was trying to say, even though this is not what she said. We know Travis Kelsey is a multi-millionaire. Factual. He has. He's a pot. He got a podcast with uh, what is it, Barstool. No, I'm talking about he got I, I a deal. Know a, I didn't know he had a podcast. I didn't know that. Yeah, he got he got a podcast with his brother. Huh. And. And they, they they pretty big. They got signed by somebody. Then they got the chunky soup endorsement. When they 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 got that with, when they that. yeah when they uh did it with their mama. So he got money. Mm -hmm. And I guess she feel like you a multi millionaire. What I gotta go fifty fifty with you for? But I think when you say fifty fifty, you automatically mean half. In my mind, fifty fifty means if I'm lacking here, I can count on you to come up. And make up that. Or if, you know what I mean? If we don't have any, no, no kids or nothing between us, I feel like that's what it is. But I think she just wanted to be taken care of. But now look at it. He was somebody. He ain't got to go 50-50 with. But I bet she is. I bet she is going 50-50. And they look happy. And it, I've, I don't want to hear nothing about, he left the sister to go with the white woman. I don't want to hear nothing about that. That man he left. had nothing to do with that. He left for the reasons he left for. Like, or, or was it you that left? Like, like who left who? 
I, that's what he I want. Her. He left her. She said he left her. Oh okay. well, look because I mean, she I, didn't want to go fifty fifty. I think you're right. Um, fifty fifty doesn't always mean finances. It could be other things. So it could be you taking care of the house. It could be him taking care of the house and you doing this. It could be him taking care of the car. You taking care of the dog. Like it could be different things. Um, and yes, I just compared your car and your dog. Yes, I did. Um, <laughs> it could be different things. So I agree with you there. I just think the it's the willingness too. Like because what um. What I heard across the internet too was a lot of people, a lot of a lot of women was agreeing with her, and a lot of women wasn't agreeing with her. A lot of dudes was like, "She crazy," and a lot of dudes was like, "I'm a man, <laughs> I ain't gonna do nothing." While he got my woman ain't got to do nothing. He got a wife and six <laughs> six side pieces in four different states. But so, you wanna like, know some bro, some men? So <laughs> let me see. Do you do agree with this? Some men don't recognize when a woman is actually going 50 50 with them and, and let me explain they mm-hmm. feel like i'm making the money so i'm supporting everything but they're not looking at what she does around the house and all the miscellaneous things that she puts up with while yeah. you out there making that bread yeah you know what i mean she's really putting that in and people are like i'm a man i take care of everything no you don't you go to work you provide and she take care of the home and as somebody who was a stay-at-home dad for a little bit, that's strenuous. That's hard. Yeah. That's like a whole it's job work. in itself. It's work. But look, we got to take a quick commercial break. We can pick this up when we come right back, man. Hey, I don't come want to like the radio. 96.3, man. Don't change that dial. Keep that same energy. Cut the malarkey. We'll be right back. I'm bumping 96.3.